Hello and welcome to Wednesday's Daily Prayers. I hope you're all well. It's good to have you here with us on YouTube and welcome to those joining us on the phone. You'll find the words to the prayers in the box below this video screen if you don't have the prayer booklet. If you need any further information, the details for Ian, our minister, are there also. As we normally do, we'll give people just a few more seconds to join us and this will give us time to settle ourselves as we prepare to come before God. Let's take a few moments. The peace of Christ be with us all. Let us say together. Sing for joy and be glad, O daughter of Zion, for behold, I am coming, and I will dwell in your midst, declares the Lord, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our souls magnify the Lord. Our spirits rejoice in God our Saviour. The Mighty One has done great things for us. Holy is God's name. Let us worship God. For God is our Maker and our Redeemer. From generation to generation, God gives mercy. Amen. I'm now going to read from Isaiah chapter 40 from verse 1. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her hard service has been completed, that her sin has been paid for, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice of one calling. In the desert, prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight in the wilderness a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, the rugged places a plain. And the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all mankind together will see it. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, Cry out! And I said, What shall I cry? All men are like grass, and all their glory is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers, and the flowers fall, because the breath of the Lord blows on them. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of our God stands forever. You who bring good tidings to Zion, go up on a high mountain. You who bring good tidings to Jerusalem, lift up your voice with a shout. Lift it up, do not be afraid. Say to the towns of Judah, here is your God. See. The Sovereign Lord comes with power, and his arm rules for him. See, his reward is with him, and his recompense accompanies him. He tends his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart. He gently leads those that have young. Amen. Now we say the prayer that Jesus taught us to say, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now we turn to God in a time of prayer. We'll use the first prayer on this sheet, which is followed by a time of silence, where we can lift before God the prayers, people and things that are on our hearts. Let us pray together. Our hope is built on nothing less than Jesus Christ. Fulfillment of the promise conceived by the Spirit, a child of Mary, adored by shepherds, heralded by John, recognised by Simeon and Anna, received by apostles, rejected by his own, crucified, dead and buried, raised in power by God the Father, seated at God's right hand, giver of the Spirit to the Church, who wait in anticipation and in longing for his promised return, and in whose name we pray with hope. We pray in silence. <clears throat> Let us continue together. God, who is the hope of all people at all times, and who by your promised coming is the source of true joy, we pray that peace and joy would be known by all those who humbly wait for you. And for peace we pray for those who live without peace. And for wisdom, we pray, for those who make decisions in city and nation. And for comfort, we pray, for those who hurt in body, mind and spirit. And for ourselves, we pray, that we would live in hope and joy. And by doing so, proclaim the glad tidings of your advent. Amen. God and maker of all, to redeem the world, you chose the most unsuspecting of women to be the mother of your son, and by your choice gave new glory to human flesh. With the joy that was Mary's, may our souls magnify the Lord, and our bodies be the means through which you continue the mighty work of salvation for which Christ came. Amen. 
God the Father, who loved the world so much that he sent his only Son, give you grace to prepare for eternal life. God the Son, who comes to us as Redeemer and Judge, reveal to you the path from dangers, from darkness to light. God the Holy Spirit, by whose working the Virgin Mary conceived the Christ. Help you bear the fruits of holiness. Amen. Thanks for being with us today. We hope to see you again soon and stay safe. Bye for now.